Alright guys, so my next bowling ball project. This is a, a vintage AMF um, Magic Line M Flight Ball from uh, 50 or 60 years ago. Very old. I like using old stuff. Vintage is cool. Had a guy's name on it, Dale. This ball came from Texas. And very interesting. I, di I didn't expect it to fit my hand, but I mean, I, I planned on replugging it and redrilling it, you know, for my own hand. But no kidding, this guy Dale had this ball drilled fingertip, which is what I wanted, and his hand is almost identical to mine. I mean, almost. The span is a little bit short for me. Uh, the thumb hole is just right, I don't have to change that. The two finger holes are a little tiny bit too, too big. They're actually acceptable, but the span is not quite long enough. So what I'm going to do is leave the thumb hole alone, and I'm going to grind away on the top edges of these two finger holes, top edge, so that I can um, sm make the finger holes a little smaller and at the same time stretch the span just a little bit like you know maybe a quarter inch and that's it um, so that's what I'm going to do first off I'm going to grind and then I'm going to come in and use this uh, quick steel uh, epoxy by Blue Magic it sticks to anything it becomes rock hard but it's highly filled it'll be very similar to the surface of this ball so once I get the fingertips drilled and pushed back a little bit, then I'm going to uh, fill the holes with this two-part epoxy and stick my fingers in there while the epoxy is still soft and uh, you know make the holes closer to the size I need. And once it's cured, then I'll grind it down and smooth it out. And I'll probably put uh, knock the surface of this ball uh, down to the 500 grit that I like instead of the shiny smooth surface I might put the 500 grit surface on it so that the ball tracks a little bit better on the lane so let's get started You probably can't tell looking, but I pushed the the finger holes back a little bit away from the thumb hole. And I only pushed them back about less than an eighth of an inch. You can't even tell that they're out of round or anything. It's a very subtle change. And now what I'm going to do is mix up some of the two-part epoxy, um, the quick steel by Blue Magic, which is the stuff, man and it's going to be like clay and then I'm going to uh, push it into these holes, these finger holes and then uh, stick my fingers in there and custom fit uh, these holes and try to leave most of the epoxy on the inside edges so that it increases the span a little bit. I'm getting ready to apply it to the ball. And to do that, I'm going to have to take my gloves off and get my fingers dirty. And try to uh, keep it up against, you know, the inside edge of this finger hole. Hard. And now it's heating up, I'm just going to let it harden now.
we're going to put this uh, 500 grit finish on it. Um, the ball is so shiny, I don't think I need to go through the other coarser grits. Got a damp cloth here with um with a drop of dish soap on it. Just to get all the dust off the surface of the ball. So I roughened up the surface to a 500 grit finish. And uh, you know it'll just give me a little bit more bite on the lane and uh, should be fun to try this ball out again. Uh, when I was trying it out the first time, you saw in the earlier videos, um, it was sort of falling off my hand just a little bit and I couldn't get much control of it. I think I'll do a little bit better with it this time. Thanks for watching everyone. God bless and best wishes.